Hello everyone, today we will build the nozzle scrubber mod for or for my Warren 2. Uh, this mod is actually for uh, cleaning the nozzle. It's made by Edward X. Link can be the, the all the rules can be found on the Warren users GitHub uh, repository. So for that we need to print these parts and we need to get one brush. So this brush will be inserted in here. So we need to cut this and the length, uh, it's described that the length should be 40 millimeter. And if it is not fitting, fitting again, it's, uh, it's recommended that the file, the brush, the plastic part of the brush a bit, don't force the printed parts, it's recommended. The purpose of this uh, mod, like I said, cleaning nozzle, but Another advantage of this mod, we, I, for example, I will run this macro to clean my nozzle before homing, so I will get actual Z offset. If the R nozzle is not cleaned, I mean if there is a filament on it, it can affect our Z offset because imagine that there is a filament left on your nozzle. And if you run your G28, the homing command with the remaining filament on your nozzle, the, this filament will hit the end stop, not your uh, not your nozzle itself. So this filament, this remaining filament on your nozzle will affect your Z offset. So uh, because of that, I decided to go with the nozzle scrubber also to clean my nozzle also in. Uh, in on print start and print end and especially for that I'm doing this to get uh, correct Z offset each time each, each and every time uh, another solution will be for the Z offset possible problems when you print something you need to home your printer at the first right so before homing hit your nozzle in normal sequence actually it should you should hit your bed, you should hit your nozzle and home your printer, and it goes on. It it will start your print if there is uh, no extra commands made by you. But you need to be, uh, I recommend that to you if you are if you are homing with the cold nozzle before you are printing, you can get wrong Z offset. So if you are not using this mode. Uh, be sure that your nozzle is hot before you are homing your printer. So now I will cut this a 40 millimeter length and place it in its place. I will file a bit when I cut to make it nice and clean. Yeah, it snapped in its place. We will place this one on the back of our bed and nozzle will came. Uh, scrub it a couple times and it will be cleaned. As you can see, I have installed the brush. It has clearance from the bed, so it should be heating up. And I also put mud nets. This is the optional part in the mod. So with that mud nets, this bucket will Snip on the brush brush sprockets. I will just put in here. Yeah, it snipped. Now I can simply take back and put back. Yeah, and this bucket for the uh, purged filaments also. At the macro part for it. Here is the GitHub page of the mod, and it's uh, there's a nice tutorial if you want you can also check this out i will share its link so you need also macros in here you need to you need to download this one nozzle scrub.cfg this is the the macro code to run the sequence and if you want to add this command to your lcd screen this is the code for that and I'm not uh, using the LCD screen that much, so I didn't add it. So I just took this one and 
edit that's all after downloading the cfg you need to put the cfg in your raspberry pi the location is same with your printer config you need to upload this config file like i said i'm i also mentioned before i'm using moba xstorm for the file transfer between the raspberry pi and pc it is very useful also i'm use it's a ssh terminal so i could recommend that one and in this macro you need to to be a couple things like uh, it's actually prepared like a printed config file so it's very easy that i can say let's check the original one since you will also take this as a conf uh, as a template it's also explained very well very well documented by the way you can read it this config is created like a stock build i mean the the bucket and the brush will will be installed the left back on your printer so if it is like that it's like you are using the set stock position this will remain true and with this you are enabling the purge if you are changing this to false your nozzle will not purge a couple millimeter of mill filament it will just scrub the nozzle if you want to purge you can tweak also with this but it's not i think yeah uh, i left as it is as i remember it's self-explained actually purge length purge speed minimum temperature min uh, minimum temperature of your nozzle etc so uh, just to add up if your nozzle is not hot and greater than this value in my case it's 240 if it is less than 240 it will skip the nerd process it will just scrub the scrub your nozzle i left these settings as it here and yeah like i said it's also predefined for v2.4 if you are using 250 build you need to uncomment this one if you are three, use if your build is three, 300 millimeter you need to uncomment this one it's etc and the variable brush fit i'm using stock settings i also bought the what the mod author is recommended brush from the triangle labs it's uh, cheap two three bucks i guess this information is for the user who is not installing the his or her uh, mod in the stock position i mean the back left so if you are installing in the back left don't you don't worry about this and these are the actual codes yeah you can check this the yeah the name is nozzle is it it is set and it's setting the absolute position and from config file yeah from config file it is getting our position max for stepper y it is for i think to determine where the brush is so if you enable purge it's saying in here if this one is enabled raise z and move the y to the position max if location is rear yeah if the if you are using the stock configuration the nozzle will move to the uh, y position max and if you are using somewhere else it will get the value and it will let the brush depth divide by two you need to you don't need to ch change anything in here i'm just trying to see and explain then it will go to the x position again it's calculating where is the bucket start and bucket left width plus etc so this one is for the x movement and yeah like i said if the yeah it's getting from printer extruder temperature is getting the temperature of the extruder if it is greater or equals to minimum temperature what you defined it will do the purging if this condition is not uh, satisfied it will jump this command line that means it will not purge the filaments but it will clean the nozzle i mean it will scrub the nozzle then yeah it will positioning for the wipe then it's performing the wipe in the it's for the wipe of course it needs movement in the x-axis so it's doing the x movement and once it's 
clean finish once the the wiping is finished it is again raising the z placing the nozzle on the one of the bucket so it's like that uh, of course you need to home your printer before run this command because it's using the yeah it has the movement and it has to know where the tool head is since it will go to the your uh, brush yeah you just need to uncomment variable brush start according to your build and that's that's all yeah as you can see it's in here oops it's already opened yeah after yeah after uploading it or before uploading it it's your choice do the changes that you want and save it that's all then you need to go to your printer config file and in there you need to you need to add this config file inside of this uh, printer config file that means it's just one line and it's copy paste uh, which is if i can find it yeah here you just need to copy and paste this in your printer config it's also written yeah again it's in here yeah and yeah this uh, line is also written in the the nozzle scrub config if you are using yeah this one like you can see you just need to copy this one and paste in here that was that's all with that it will attach the nozzle scrub also in here and when you say clean nozzle it will run this whole config as also mentioned in here if you are using fluid or mainsail the location is this one but i'm using just octoprint so in my case it is this one okay now nevertheless uh, that's all you have to do about the adjustment of the config and yeah if you want you can I'm doing same mistake ever again and again. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want, you can select all these uh, commands, copy and paste you inside your printer config file. But I'm using different config file since it is a long config, long uh, commands, long file. So this way, it's much cleaner my printer config file also if there is a problem or if i want to change something i can directly go to here and change this i know that this is only related about the nozzle scrub so it is more user friendly now let's run the macro to see how it is scrubbing nozzle clean nozzle that's the macro name Right now it is purging and it's scrubbed. Yeah, that's all. That's how it is working. Now, thank you for watching. That was all, and see you on the next one.